Well, well, uh, well, well. Well, wait, I'm How honest, are you? I'm great, but you're doing well. I am. So congratulations. You. We need to start with the big congrats. I don't know if anybody, everybody knows, but last month you said that you'd been undergoing cancer treatment for a year, which I didn't know about, so I don't know that many people <laughs> knew about. You're not supposed to know yeah, about Yeah, I was like, I don't think many people I knew about it. I can't be quiet. You did. Yes. And and you, you got the news that you're now cancer free, right? I am. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That's a hard thing to keep quiet. I, listen. Um, Just physically while you're working. Yeah, it is, it was hard. Uh, the thing was, I didn't want to say anything. I don't want pity. Mm. And, and I don't have a publicist that you release it and everybody says, oh my God, Kelly's, oh, you know, I yeah. didn't want that, that happens. Yeah. I just wanted to keep it quiet, my family knew. And then, as you can tell, I, I'm a little self-conscious about my appearance, but that's from the, from the treatments. And people were saying, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? And so finally, I thank Fox for allowing me the time to say, yeah. in November, I was diagnosed with bladder cancer. Yeah. And I went on this treatments at uh, Baylor, I mean Baylor, uh, Yale Medical uh, Center up in uh, New Haven, Connecticut uh, for six weeks. <clears throat> then I came back and was diagnosed weeks later, cancer free, but I still do follow up treatments, which I still have to go back up for that. Which are hard on your body. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> I had no idea. Yeah. It, it was, um, it's bladder cancer. And then in March, I'm getting ready to go to Hawaii and I'm all excited. I get a vacation after well over two years. And I was having trouble with my neck and I go in, my wife, <clears throat> it says we need to get that checked. And then they found a, a tumor here. <laughs> so that's Merkel cell cancer. Oh my that's gosh. skin cancer, a form of skin cancer. It's <clears throat> relatively rare. Had it not been for this, and we wouldn't have found that. Yeah, I didn't catch so it. they cut all that out, and now my face is a little. I'm self conscious. My wife says, you look fine, but. Yeah, I gotta be honest, my, just as an out. If yeah, I had, I didn't but know. you know what, Kelly? It's, yeah. it's like I'm so self conscious. Of my of uh, my face, one good thing about it though, I don't have to shave because I have no hair over here. <laughs> so it was, it's been a long uh, battle, and then I went back to MD Anderson and um, mm. and got um, cancer free here. So Jeez, as we do this though. interview, yeah. but, but the, it's, it's like it's like one cancer or wow. Two? Two, yeah. Two is a when little bit rains, overwhelming, yeah. Yeah. But I'm, uh, I've always had a great attitude about it. Never thought that it was, I never, I don't know why, maybe it's my faith. Well, and do my you... My faith has kept me. I never said, well, if I die, I'm going to a good place, no big deal. And if I live, it's a great deal. One of these days, I'm going to be able to talk about the treatments, because I'm going to tell you something right now. Yeah. <clears throat> Funny. <laughs> you're, you're like, it's I'm not funny. there yet. Yeah, but the stuff that happens is amazing. <laughs> Wait, so you also, all this is ho happening and you also moved houses, right? I did. We have lived in Thackerville, Oklahoma. We're, we're horse ranchers. Horse ra we, we raise quarter horses, halter, and we breed and we train. Uh, halter. Yeah. We stand 12 stallions. Uh, now 11, I sold one today. Congratulations. And thank you very That's much. That's a big sell. That's a yeah. big thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And um, I felt like after uh, the cancer, uh, Tammy, my wife, we decided, hey, let's downsize. Yeah. We moved to a little town called St. Joe, Texas. You know where that I is? Don't, I don't know where okay. that is, but Thackerville's seven, not big. No, Thackerville's not big yeah, at all. Yeah. I'm right by Thackerville, I'm behind Windstar Casino. I know where Thackerville is. My yes. best friend from childhood is from oh Thackerville, God. her family. Are you serious? Yes, that's Got why when you said teeth. that, I was like, wait, what? Yes, yes, she made it out. Yes, <laughs> she did. She got out. all her teeth. Yeah. Yeah. But um, <laughs> we're right behind Win Windstar Casino. Windstar, yeah, yeah. Okay? And uh, so we moved back up the highway to Highway 82 out of Gainesville. Yeah. 16 miles due west. You're in St. Joe. And hey, listen, folks. I haven't been pulled over for speeding or doing anything wrong in 40 years. My first, yeah. I feel like I should. My first, hey, hey, listen. My first, my first week in St. Joe, which has one cop. red light. One cop, <laughs> one, yeah. one cop. I get pulled over. And he said, I said, what'd I do wrong? 
He said, well, uh, you, you, you're doing 55 in a 30. They do frown Where, upon that. Yeah, I said, yeah. And I, oh, 30, 30 what? He said, that's a school system, school thing back there. And I went, I didn't, I, I basically said, you gotta be kidding. Yeah, because you didn't realize it was even there. And he goes, yeah. <clears throat> let you off. Well, it took 45 minutes before you come back. They got to run your tags and everything. He goes, I'm going to let you off this time. We got you in the system. <laughs> what, what does that mean? I'm okay. like, <laughs> we got you in the system, First of all, boy. I, I love that you were like, he took 45 <laughs> minutes. Meanwhile, 40. meanwhile, he's back there going, you will never believe who I just pulled over. Because <laughs> you don't pull over anybody like that. Well, my, oh, no, no, my wife. My wife is from Rogers, uh, Missouri. Rogers, yes, Rogers, Rogersville, right out oh, no. of, right out of Branson. Oh, okay. Rogersville. I know Rogers, that one. <laughs> she's back here. God, Rogers, Rogersville. I'm in a, I'm mad for her right now. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> she's, she's, he goes back to her car. I don't play the celebrity routine. I don't do that well. Yeah. I will never do it. I'm just Terry Bradshaw. I may be this, but I'm really this. She says, That's how I feel. <laughs> she goes, Honey, tell him who you are. I'm not going to tell this guy who I am. First of all, I'm in Texas. This is cowboy country. <laughs> yeah. Who beat him in the Super Bowls? Yeah. The Steelers. Yeah. Who was the quarterback? <laughs> Me. This is not good. Remind them of that. Yeah. When you I know. <laughs> I couldn't. I'm trying to take all my Steeler stuff out yeah. of my car. Stuff it. It's not good. Oh my God, I love it. They, we do come out of the womb loving the Cowboys. Oh wait, in this new house, you got another parrot. That's so not that's... a parrot. It's a macaw. Which I totally know the difference. It's a parrot. It, is this like the latest lady's going? Yes, it's a parrot. It's a big ass parrot. <laughs> hey, look. I made the lady in makeup. Wait, is what this happened? the parrot? Oh, here it goes. Oh, oh yeah, wow. that's dude. That's, that's dude? dude. Yeah, he's boy, he's a biting son. Look, you. I made him cover oh my. Oh my gosh. Oh, he. Yeah, the dude. I named him after Jeff Bridges and dude, the uh, Big, Big Lebowski. Lebowski. Dude, <laughs> I'm the dude. Okay, so I named so I named this macaw. I always wanted one, and my kids bought this for my for my birthday, and so I said. I'm gonna name him The Dude. I thought that was so cool. So it's The Dude, so we go off, come back, we go pick up The Dude. And they went, uh, Mr. Bradshaw, we sexed The Dude, and it's a female. Oh. But he, but he knows his name as The Dude. So this, this it's The Dude, it's a female, the dude, and so. Yep. If I get to come back on the show, I'll bring you a picture of Peanut. The is that, wait. That's the second one. The second one. And is and this a boy a or girl? Boy. So it kind the of The dude. Feels, yeah. The dude is a female and Peanut's male. And uh, right now, the, the dude can't stand Peanut. Oh. But I think, I think when nature takes its course, <laughs> they'll be getting along just fine. <laughs> just fine. So wait. <laughs> I didn't know. So McCall, you need if you get another one, name it McGraw after Tim. Cause come on. Tim McGraw. Yeah, McGraw. Well, come I want to tell you, I got another one. You do. I got an African gray. They are some talking Jessies. Oh, oh, I saw it in. I saw it out of the nest. It just took it out of the nest, Kelly. I'm telling you, I just melted. I, oh, and the guy, and the guy knows me. He's sucker. He's just sticking it to me. I paid ten grand for that bird. <laughs> And he goes, well, I paid 10 grand for peanut. Yeah. Peanut. Peanut probably cost $500 anywhere else. Here. I got 10 grand out of me. Here. But I saw, I saw this bird. I went, oh, I got to have that bird. And he says, I'm saving him for you. He's special. I went, yeah, I don't know what he caught. I bought him, but I don't know what I paid for him. I have no idea. So Sometimes I come home. just don't look. Yeah. So we come home. My wife's thinking, Tammy, she goes, I got a name for the African gray. Okay. I said, well, we got peanut, we got the dude. What you got? She said, Steve. Steve? <laughs> Steve. <laughs> Steve. What? <laughs> you can't name a bird Steve. You, yeah, you can. What, why? So, why yeah, Steve? This dumbass bird's name is Steve. <laughs> 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 
Why? Why? Did she have, have a reason? You know, my wife is extremely intelligent, and I just think <laughs> when people walk in the house and peanuts hollering and the dudes hollering, it would be nice to have someone named Steve. Steve, just an, yeah. So the bird's name is Steve. Steve. I actually, if I get to come on again, yep. I'll bring Steve. I'll bring Steve. It, okay. And yeah, if you have another one, McGraw. I'm not. McGraw, McCall. Well, when 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 the dude. Tim McCall. When the <laughs> you like Tim McGraw. <laughs> I just like the name. When, uh, I like him too. <laughs> McCall McGraw. When the dude and Peanut get together, and have babies. Tim McCall. Yeah. Tim, Mc, Tim McCall. That's funny. <laughs> I'm getting it in there. Now, yeah, I'm getting are, it in there. You are so sharp. <laughs> right. You are so sharp. By the, by the end of this, you're going to have a damn bird named Tim McCall. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Wait, I hear this. So you're a singer as well, and I don't think I knew this about you. Yeah, I'm pretty good. I know, I I Googled you, <laughs> by the look, way. Look, these people are going. No. All right. <laughs> 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 no, I Googled. You have, like, full-on, full-voice vibrato. Like, every, I, I literally Googled you Kelly, because they told me this, and Kelly, I didn't know this. I grew up on gospel. Okay. I always wanted to be a singer, and God made me a football player. And now I'm, I turned 74, and I started singing. I opened up in Vegas seven years ago. At the at the Mirage. What? How yeah, did I miss this? You're not this? the only one that can knock it out of the park. Okay. <laughs> well, wait. So, I, so wait. Yeah. When I was googling, right. I saw you at the Opry. You I did the, the Opry, Opry with the Isaacs and my daughter. That's incredible. And then I do I do the Clay Cooper Theater in Branson. I do 20 shows Branson, there. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I love Branson. Me too. Yeah. Love we all tour Branson. through there, right? Well, so, you're. I mean, yeah. listen. I've been listening to your music. When it comes to singing. When it comes to a set of pipes, girl. You are very you nice. You are amazing. But you get it though, you love it. Yeah. You love it. Right. It makes you feel good. Yeah, I love, I love singing. Yeah, I didn't know I that about you. I thought it. that was so cool. Yeah. So do you still get starstruck at this point in your life? I get, I still get giddy. Like when I meet, when I see people, I'm just like, oh man. Yeah. A kind of on But you're a host, you gotta kind of be cool. You're I'm Hollywood. Not. You're Hollywood out here. I'm not. Um, That's why when you said people think I'm here. Yeah, yeah I'm no, not. you're good. See, here's the thing about you. The great thing about a host, I did Jay Leno for 54 times on The Tonight Show, and he and I were just... He's the nicest human Just ever. like that. And the thing is, a host like yourself is someone that makes the guest comfortable. Yeah. Where they can relax and, and be themselves. Yeah. And I have always, for years... Now, this, they'll laugh at this, I hope. Thought that the best looking dude, and I'm very strong heterosexual, but the. I love the preface. <laughs> yes. This, he is my, what do you call that, ganger? Doppelganger. Doppelganger. Do Who said that? Doppelganger. Who said that? that was Alex. Oh, yeah. 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 Doppelganger. My doppelganger. Who? Brad Pitt. Brad. <laughs> you met Brad Pitt? I don't. Have you had, no. No. I've never been. Oh, I'm telling you. I never met Brad Pitt. I, I'm afraid. I'm afraid. And I always tell everybody, oh, you know, I get people say I look like Brad Pitt. I've used Brad Pitt's name forever. I'm sure he's heard about it. Well, and, can uh, we? I just want to see a side by side real quick because I just need a recap. Oh, it's not going to be good. I just need a recap. Uh, oh. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, I see it. Look at the black leather. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely, I would remember if I'd met him. I gotta yeah. admit, that's not a good look. <laughs> it's a great but look as my wife, you. as my wife says, I'm stood. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, oh, stood. Good. After how many years now? So we've been together 22 years. Do you like how I was trying to catch you? <laughs> I was trying to catch you? How many no, no, years you now? weren't gonna catch me. <laughs> I love it. No, love you're it. not gonna catch me. I had 22 years. That's awesome. 22, yeah. Met her at the x-ray machine. At the hospital. <laughs> what are you laughing? What? what? That's where you I met? brought a guy in with a broke ankle. <laughs> and uh, tra it was a trainer for me. And the down comes this, I'm talking knocked down, dead, gorgeous, blonde with the hair pulled up. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God, that woman is gorgeous. And I'm sitting See, there. See, hit on her by an x-ray machine. <laughs> So I'm standing next to her. She's, she is head of x-rays, whatever that means, uh, radiologist. 
<laughs> and so they're running it, and she's running it, and I come to find out later when she found out I was down there. Oh. She said, I had a way, girl! Yeah. He's mine. I love that. Yeah. And, and later, later I found out, she said, I always get what I want. Oh, my God! I like. Oh, she's standing there, and I'm. She does belong in Texas. I'm checking her out, man. I'm going. Wow, what a fine-looking woman. <laughs> so I didn't have the. I wasn't going to say, "Excuse me, Tammy. I'm Terry Bradshaw, and I would like to take you to. I think you go to lunch, don't you? Never go to dinner on the first date, because if you go to dinner, they got to stay for the whole thing. If you go for lunch, you can always leave. Is that how that works? I never heard that rule, so I'm just okay, suffering that's a through some dinner. Yeah. It. Follow okay. it. <laughs> and so. I said, hey, visitor. And um, I would have never said that because she could very easily said she didn't have a ring on because I dang sure x-rayed her finger on that. <laughs> no ring on, but she could have been married. And uh, she wasn't. And uh, I didn't ask her because she could have, <laughs> no, I don't date guys like you. She could have said that, yeah. and I would have just been devastated. So I did what most secure 60-year-old uh, men do, 50-year-old men. I went to a doctor, and I said, uh, buddy, there was a hot blonde uh, named Tammy in the, in the x-ray place. He goes, oh, you're talking about Tammy Luttrell. I said, is that her name? He said, yeah, yeah everybody, wants, everybody wants some of that. And, uh, well, hey, that's what yes, they said, Tammy. all right? That's what they said. <laughs> Tammy was killing well, that? Yeah, old Tammy, yeah. And then he said, yeah, I said, I'd like to ask her out. Could you find out if she'd go out with me? That's what oh I did. Oh, my gosh. What am I supposed to do? That's so cute. Oh, it's cute. That's like what you do like in like grade school. I love that. <laughs> you know, you find out from a friend. Okay. You know, that's have, sweet. Have you ever, have you ever been I sweet? I like that. Have you ever been sweet on someone and, yeah. and, boy, and said, no matter how old you are, and said, oh, I'd love to have God ask me out. So did, did you go up to him and say, will you ask me out? No, no, I have asked. No, I have literally gone up to a person's house, knocked on the door, asked them out. Stop it. And no, it was a guy that I like, and got no, and got turned down. That's my point. I don't want to get turned down. But I got turned down. I cried and I got over there it. There you go. That's yeah. stress. Yeah. That's bad. No, it's just like you're never gonna know unless you ask, and like the odds are in your favor depending on how many. You ask. <laughs>